Welcome to a new update. A major earthquake occurred this morning in the Molokka Sea, magnitude 7. It followed on the lunar geometry that we had on the 16th, 17th. And as you may recall, in previous updates, I mentioned that lunar peak because it was the second lunar peak relative to the critical planetary geometry that we had on the 10th. In fact, I mentioned that lunar peak over a week ago. It also occurred near the purple band that was a marker for an atmospheric fluctuation that appeared on the 11th, which also marked the magnitude 6.3 earthquake at the Bonin Islands two days ago. Which means that the earthquake occurred a little over six days after the fluctuation occurred. We're going to have significant planetary geometry from the 19th to the 22nd. I briefly mentioned that in the previous update. As you can see the red and purple peaks from the 19th to the 22nd. Five planetary conjunctions and this has a lot to do with the planets Mercury, Venus and Neptune and also with the Sun. It's not a near quadruple conjunction because it is spread out from the 19th to the 22nd but it comes close. Tomorrow Mercury, Sun and Venus in a conjunction which will be followed a day later by Mercury, Sun, Neptune. <coughs> then on the 21st we have Mercury, Venus, Neptune in a conjunction. That is a critical one. It is associated with major to great earthquakes but it also depends on the condition of Earth's crust. We do not know for sure but often with this kind of planetary geometry there is a window that opens for a major to great seismic event. Also on the 21st we have a lunar conjunction with the Sun that is a new moon and then on the 22nd two more planetary conjunctions, it is a lot, two more planetary conjunctions that is Sun, Venus and Neptune and uh, several hours later followed by Earth, Venus and Saturn also in a conjunction. Like I said it is a lot, so far the atmospheric fluctuations seem to indicate increased seismic activity, possible increased seismic activity uh, on the 20th, 21st, 22nd, nothing past the 22nd yet, but that may come. It wouldn't surprise me to see indicators for the 23rd, 24th, 25th, which will be past the critical planetary geometry. So let's have a look at the atmospheric fluctuations that we picked up in the last couple of days, actually since the 13th. The one that appeared on the 13th went over the western part of Alaska down to Tonga, Fiji region and New Zealand. I mentioned that in the previous update and I also said that that region there is seismically very active so we wouldn't be surprised to see a seismic increase there, it happens frequently. Nevertheless it could also be interesting for Alaska and also New Zealand and going by the timing of the fluctuation we could see a seismic increase in one of those regions or near one of those regions later today or tomorrow already. On the 15th we picked up a fluctuation which was vague and it seems to mark the region in the West Indian Ocean and up north Pakistan and Iran. I do not know if it really means something. It was vague but I mentioned it nonetheless. It happened on the 15th so it could be an indicator for a larger seismic activity on the 20th, 21st, about five, six days after the fluctuation occurred. And then of course on the 15th and 16th, I mentioned that in the previous update as well, significant fluctuations over the East Pacific, primarily Central America, but also to the north, the trend seems to indicate Mexico, Gulf of California, maybe even further north, California or the Pacific Northwest, the Cascadia subduction zone. The easternmost fluctuation comes a little close to South America and that could indicate Ecuador and maybe even South Chile, but I'm not sure about that. The primary focus seems to be on Central America and Mexico, maybe the Gulf of California, but it could also be a bit further north or south. This is the information that we have so far. I will keep you updated, especially regarding the atmospheric fluctuations. They are really, really interesting. They are not 100% perfect. So if you are in an earthquake prone area, be on extra alert in the coming days. Until next time.